In 2021, I through hiked the entire Appalachian Trail and posted a YouTube video almost every single day for about five and a half months. And today, I'm gonna show you just how I did that. Whatever you feel comfortable recording, record it. It's good to experiment. You really don't only have to record views. People wanna see all parts of the trail. The amount of times I just recorded a white blaze and mix it into my B-roll, uh, it's a lot. Pan slowly. It will look more blurry if you pan over even remotely quickly. If you want to try some fun transitions instead of just using the normal transitions included in iMovie, try moving the camera slowly into a tree until the screen turns completely black. For the next shot, in a new area or scene, start the shot up close on another tree or item and move away to reveal the next scene. I like to do this especially with backpacks and sometimes even people. Doing in-camera transitions like this can be a great way to spice up your videos and it is surprisingly easy to edit. You can talk about anything you want because, you know, honestly, it, most people like to try and plan ahead on exactly what they're going to say, but honestly, I just wing it most of the time. I, I'll just, if I don't really feel like I have anything to say, sometimes I'll just stick to talking, or not talking, but doing a little more cinematic stuff. But like even this right now, like I'm stuttering a little bit, I might mess up every once in a while. You don't necessarily have to cut it out. You don't have to edit it out of your video. Just show yourself, be yourself, do your thing. If you really, really don't want to talk to the camera, then just do cinematic stuff. Maybe do like a voiceover if that helps. Or, you know, just, you can change it every day. Some, some of the days on the trail, I didn't say a single thing. I just recorded through the day. I just wasn't in the mood to talk, or maybe it was raining, or the weather was poor, or just ended up being a much shorter video than I intended and yeah but it all works out you know and you're gonna make mistakes you're gonna make a lot of mistakes but anyways i'm gonna get back to uh the voiceover because you know i'm home now so i can play it out a little bit better when i would record video during my through hike i would honestly just end the video whenever i feel like it's long enough to post so if i edit a video from a day and it's only about three minutes long i'll most likely continue the video into the next day and even the next sometimes some people will make a video out of an entire week, which is a great way to start. I would highly recommend waiting at least a week after you start your hike to upload your first video. This allows a buffer for when you don't have data to be able to post, or if you fall behind a little bit. To help with this, you can download the YouTube Studio app to not only schedule your videos, but to add thumbnails, add little cards that pop up on your video. It's just a great little tool to have. All right, so now that I'm home, uh, usually I'll be doing this in my tent or at my campsite. Usually it's too buggy out, especially in the warmer months on the trail, to really sit outside and edit my videos. It's already hard enough just cooking outside of my tent with all the bugs and gnats and mosquitoes and even caterpillars at one point on the trail. Um, so I'll sit inside my tent. It's actually, you know, get myself as comfortable as possible um, for right now since I'm home. I have my studio to work in, so uh, normally I'll be editing like this video will technically be edited on my laptop, even though I'm actually gonna go through editing on my phone. Uh, so what I use is an iPhone XR. This is what I've had for the past couple of years now. It's done me really good. I really like the camera on it. Uh, it lasted me the entire trail, and I don't really have any complaints about it. Um, it still works, honestly, like it's still new, so. But yeah, uh, to edit my videos, I used iMovie the entire time, so. Before I get into this, I just want to say, you know, I used iMovie to edit a video every single day for five and a half months. So I'm going to be pretty quick with this. So don't get disheartened, don't get discouraged if you see just how fast this is going because it's not going to take very long to edit this. Uh, but yeah, it just takes practice and you're going to make mistakes. You're going to make lots of mistakes. Uh, I'll pop a video up here in a minute of my very first video on the trail from last year where there was just a segment where it just randomly went to slow motion. I didn't even realize it when I edited it or posted it, but once it was posted and I found, I realized this like a month and a half later, uh, someone reached out to me and just was like, hey, I just watched your first video, it was great, but there's a section of it that's just in slow motion and it's while you're talking, so it just sounds, well, like this. I was really tunnel vision. Hi. 
And yeah, that kind of stuff just happens when you're out hiking the trail, when you make mistakes, you don't really have time to correct it. And honestly, you just don't even worry about it. Just go ahead and get started on the next video. Make sure it doesn't happen again. And if it does, try harder. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys through just how I edit my videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Create Project. Click Movie, because I guess, you know, I'm just making a movie. And what's nice about iMovie is it'll go ahead and sort all of your stuff into, you know what, maybe I can do this sideways. All right, cool, I can do this sideways, sweet. So see, learned something new already. So um, it kind of separates everything into days. So like, obviously I'm not gonna use anything from March 2nd. Uh, that is something I still need to post to Instagram now. But yeah, so basically the first thing up here in the top left corner is gonna be the first thing that you recorded from that day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through and click on everything. All right, so I know that this is the beginning of the video and if you see the little like hourglass shape thing here, uh, iMovie automatically puts a transition between every single uh, clip. Most of the time I will click on it and then just hit none and then I'll take out the transition. See how it kind of just faded in? Uh, this is how most people will edit their videos. We'll just leave it like that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's really easy. It's a really easy transition. I like to be as creative as I can. When I'm out there, it's just more fun and enjoyable. And I, I think it's, you know, it looks a little bit cleaner to watch. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys just the process of how I put these together. So you can see, you know, I'm getting down to where I want to start. I kind of find where I start, you know, moving up and I'll just stop right there, click on the clip, and hit split right here. And then that splits the video into two different uh, clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the first one because that's the one that I don't want. And now this is what we got so far. Just going up, and then I'm gonna start a transition. And you can see, this is all about timing when it comes to your transitions. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit more into depth in the future when I get to, when I go into a tree, I might make some future videos about just how to do each and every transition, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a point to cut and then delete the next clip. So now it's gonna come here and then cut right here. And then I know that my next clip is going to start as it's coming down. So here, I'm gonna try and cut it to right about where it was in the other clip, and now this is what it's going to look like. There you go. And now see how this is already going into another transition? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the transition that they have in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and find where I want to cut it. Again, I'll go more in depth on how to place the cuts in a future video for this part, for this particular transition. But this is, well, actually I don't even think I, I didn't even cut an out point here. So I'm gonna cut an out point. Oh, I messed up. And what's nice about this is every time you mess up, there's a little like semicircle here where it just redoes, undoes whatever, undoes. Yeah, undoes whatever you did. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And now this is what we got so far. Down, and then a transition into here. And now this is where earlier I mentioned if you pan nice and slow, it looks good. Watch this. But then when you speed up even a little bit, it gets pretty blurry. So I'm gonna leave that in just so you guys can see the final like clip, but normally I would cut out the fast part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that in. Just kinda, you know, time it however I want. It's, it's good to take a little bit of extra time with your clips. I'm just gonna choose to cut out of this clip when I stop moving to the left. So I'm gonna hit split and then delete. And now we're on the next clip. So maybe I want to go ahead, since I didn't do a camera transition here, I'll go ahead and use the one in iMovie. So I'm gonna click on this. There's a few different things you can choose from. You can choose like a star, dissolve. I like to just do fade. Oh, I'm sorry. I like to just do dissolve. That's the one that it comes with usually. So I'll go ahead and go into here. And it just fades into the next thing. So let's see here. I didn't like that clip, so I'm just going to delete it. You're going to be deleting a lot of clips, by the way. 
All right, so this is a transition that I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do. So you can see I went into a tree here. Actually, you know what? This is, this is the one that I messed up. So again, I'm gonna delete it. I have a second clip that I did better. See how I went all the way into the tree to where the screen almost went black? That's perfect, that's what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the first part of the clip and go in. Another thing is you don't have to hit split. You can actually click on it and then click the left side, the little yellow bar, and you can shorten or extend the clip and I'll show you where it's gonna cut to. This is what I usually do, it just makes it go a lot faster so I know that this is where my motion kinda of starts. I'm gonna start going to the left. I'll go ahead and take out the transition and then I'll take the right side and I'll just drag it to where the screen is pretty much black. Right here is okay, it's acceptable. And then I'm gonna take the next clip and I'm gonna start it in the black section of this tree. So this is what this, whoops, this is what this transition is gonna look like. Right there. And then I can cut right here. I just felt, you know, felt like cutting it right here. Hit delete. And one thing to remember when using iMovie is, you might not notice it right now, but when you're editing, it might look, the cuts might look a little choppy, like the screen jumps to black real quick, and then back to the next clip. Don't worry about that, when you export it, it will get rid of that, and it's gonna be nice and clean and crisp. So, this is what we got so far. Transitions are looking pretty good. All right, so here's the next clip. See how I actually started a little bit of a transition here? So I'm gonna go ahead and see where I wanna cut this. Uh, see like right here it's hard to pick so I'm just gonna like drag it to where I think. I try not to spend too much time on it All right, so here's the last transition before I start talking. See, like that didn't even look great, but it, it looked okay, so I'm gonna take it. So, you don't always have to do everything to music. We are gonna go back and add some music to the first part, but this part, I'm kinda just walking around. I'm getting, the, the video is almost over at this point. So, let's see here. So, this is one of those things where, you know, I could just show me just walking up to it. And then, I know I did more of like a cinematic shot for that, but I kind of changed my mind now. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the rest of it and just kind of fade in to the next clip, which is, I don't even remember what I recorded last. All right, this is the last clip. Oh, that's right. I walked into the camera here. So, I'm just this is just where it's going to end. Right into it. So, I'm going to go ahead and end that in the black part. And I'm going to go back a little bit, cut it, and then take the sound out of it so that you don't hear the click of me hitting the camera. And that is pretty much it for that part. So I'm gonna go back real quick, cause like you don't wanna just be watching this first part without music or anything. So I use Epidemic Sound, so I'm gonna go ahead and just throw in something. I'm, for the purpose of keeping this short and sweet, I'm just gonna pick something random. Uh, I, I have it in my files. But you can download music from wherever you like. Uh, let's do Happy, cause we wanna be happy today. Just gonna pick the first one. And so right now, uh, if I click and drag this, I can't actually move it to wherever I want. So I'm gonna click it and hit foreground, and it's gonna turn blue. This allows me to pick it up and move it wherever I want. For this case, I'm just gonna keep that at the beginning. So I'm gonna go ahead and have the music go all the way until I start talking. I'll split it. And then if I want music in the background, I'll take the next scene, I'll hit the volume button and just bring it down to like 35%, that way. And 
Um, feel free to talk Like, that's still a little too loud, so I think I'm gonna bring it down even farther. Move like... Oh, it's getting a little laggy. There you go. Like 20%. About anything you want, because... Yeah, that works. So, that, I'm gonna keep it like that pretty much the rest of the video. Uh, the music is gonna end, but I'm not really too worried about it. But, yeah, that would be a very rough cut video, but that's honestly how I made all of my videos on the trail, at least most of them. Uh, I just threw them together as fast as I could because, you know, I, I would do want to enjoy my hike. And that took me, I don't know, maybe like five or ten minutes to edit that. If I'm by myself, it'll take me even less time because, you know, obviously I'm explaining everything. But the first, like, week and a half, two weeks on the hike, on the trail, I would spend up to like an hour and a half, maybe even two hours to edit something like this. So don't feel bad if it takes you a long time. But I'm going to go ahead and export this. And then, let's see here. It'll actually say save video, not necessarily export. But I'm going to save the video. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Hopefully uh, I didn't make this too long of a video. But you know, uh, the last several videos have only been like three, four, maybe five minutes. So... Yeah, anyways, I'm excited to get back out and hike more. It's almost 80 degrees right now outside. It's already, like it was 60 when I was out walking around this morning, but it's already almost 80 degrees. So one thing about Maryland is we don't really get much of a fall or spring. It just kind of jumps from winter to summer and from summer to winter, which kind of sucks because it used to be great. We used to get a nice long spring, a nice long fall. It was really nice down on the trail because at this point we were down in like Tennessee or North Carolina and it was just beautiful. The weather was perfect uh, for springtime. They actually got a bit of a spring down there, which was nice. But yeah, see that, that exported really quickly. Sometimes it would take an hour to export a video. And also doing this kind of kills your battery. So go ahead and just turn your brightness down, especially at night. I mean, you don't need to be staring at a bright screen right before you go to bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys the final product of this video. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. I really hope you guys, you know, learned something from this. Oh, I don't want it to start playing yet. Um, but yeah, I'm, it, this is all like a screen recording on my phone, so the quality might not be the best. Who knows, maybe it will be. But I uh, gotta figure out how to put all this together, obviously, on my laptop, and I'm gonna edit everything together. So it'll be a little bit different than how I edit this. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, I'll see you next time. about anything you want because you know honestly most people like to try and plan ahead